All right, hello everyone. I'm here again. So today, I decided to change my oil in my Grand Cherokee Eco Diesel. Um, so I just wanted to walk you guys through it, how I do it, how often I do it, what kind of oil I use, and all that good stuff. So what kind of tools to, you need if you're planning on doing it at home, if you've never done it at all, or if you haven't never done it in your uh, Grand Cherokee. So. I know it might be just a simple video for people that are into cars, that work on cars. This might be something that's maybe laughable, but I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, never actually done it. I would like to watch a video or something to get an idea how to do it. So I just wanted to make a short one and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, got a drain bucket and then there's the drain plug washer, I mean drain plug. <laughs> What am I saying? The drain plug right there. You just unscrew that and drain it into that. I usually just open up, take the cap off, or just loosen it so there's air. It just helps the oil drain. And then uh, after that, after it drains, we'll unscrew that housing right there, take it off, and then drain the oil from there as well and change the oil filter. All right, so starting with my oil, I use Liquid Moly made in Germany oil. This is one of the best oils out there. I mean, you can talk to any uh, service technician at any shop. They'll probably tell you the same thing. All the European cars, uh, German cars, I use these oil from all my cars. This is one of the best oils out there. And I get a special one that says Diesel Tech on it, as you noticed right there. Diesel High Tech. It has the low ash in it. Because in the diesel vehicle, if anybody knows, it, it runs on compression, so it produces a lot of... Uh, ash in 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 the engine so it runs a lot you know dirtier than the gas one would so you want to get the best uh, lowest ash out there possible in the oil so yeah that's the oil i use i get, usually get one of the napa filters i get the gold the best one they got i don't get the cheap ones from my cars and then i also replace the drain plug um or washer uh, that's every washer if it's a washer i usually try to replace it every oil change but if i don't replace the washer i mean it like this one it's not the washer is not replaceable it's built into the drain plug so i replace the whole drain plug uh, i recommend doing it if not every oil change do it every other at least because it does start leaking so yeah that's that and then for the tools uh you need uh, 13 millimeter for the drain plug and and the 27 millimeter for the filter housing so yeah that's the tools and the stuff and I use. another note when you guys loosen the filter housing cap off make sure you loosen it really slowly especially when you get to the part where the seals where the seal starts to show up really slowly until you hear a noise that the air kind of started going through and it started draining then you can uh, just wait a few seconds until it drains and then start unscrewing it more because if you do it really fast you'll have a bunch of oil around there it just flop all around so i had that happen before so you know learn from my mistake never do it just you know don't rush now that i changed the oil filter there's a new seal there it comes on the oil filter and then there's one here i changed that and i lubricated it make sure you guys lube it up before you guys install it because when you guys do install it, if it's dry, you can end up cutting it. So, right. yeah. so once you guys go to tighten it, uh, just kind of turn it until it gets really kind of snug. And then just give it a nice pull. Make sure it's snug. Don't really like pull really hard on it because you could end up cracking that housing. That's plastic. It doesn't need to be really tight. So once you get it, you know, tight, just give it a nice torque really quick and then see if it's tight and just leave it alone just take the uh, socket off and it's all good and then just do a final wipe down so it's all clean around no oil and uh, that's that for the filter same thing for the drain plug once you tighten it keep turning it until it gets tight and then after it gets tight give it a quarter turn and that's it it doesn't require it to be too really tight that as well because i know a lot of loop techs at the cheap shops i'm not gonna bash anybody but they can't afford to hire somebody that or hire somebody and train them so they just end up hanging on the drain plugs and then that's how they strip your oil pan threads and that's how you end up doing a new oil pan so yeah just once you get it tight you feel it's tight and just give it a quarter turn and it should be good 
now that we got the filter installed the drain plug washer the drain plug tight we're gonna put the oil in it calls for eight quarts of oil capacity so we'll put that in first and then uh, start the car up put it on level ground shut it off and then see what the level is and add if necessary more how often I change the oil I change my oils about every 5,000 of miles in all my cars especially turbo cars because uh, a turbo heats up the oil a lot you know to a lot higher temperature than the ones that are naturally aspirated cars without a turbo so I try to replace it every 5,000 miles I sometimes when I'm busy I mean it's not any danger to if you, you know have to change it a six or seven but you know I use full synthetic oil the best oil out there and I do it, do it every 5,000 miles so yeah that's uh, my service in inner wall so I try to kind of go by it all right now I got it on level ground got it filled so I turned it on let it run for about a minute and then uh, revved it up a little bit to get the oil into the oil filter housing the turbo and everywhere so now I'm just gonna let it sit for about three to five minutes and then come back and then uh, check the oil level and then see if I need to add any so after you guys check the oil level, make sure you guys mark how much mileage you had when you changed it. So you guys can change it again uh, in 5,000 miles. Uh, that's what I do, uh, that's what I recommend you do if you want your car to last long and you know, if you care about your car as much as I do. I take care of every car I had, I mean, I make sure, you know, when I, people actually buy the cars from me are the luckiest people in the world like literally I buy cars that are, have issues that have defects I make them hundred percent I drive them and then I sell them when I sell them they're really good taken care of so yeah that completes this video if you guys want any more content of the Jeep like if you guys have some videos that you guys want me to post on how to do something or if you have any questions about the Jeep and you know comment in the comments below I will reply to them when I can I'll be buying the EGR pipe, the one that goes into the intake, the block off plates, they're like $55. So I'll be buying that, doing that soon, and then in a while I'll be doing the whole cooler delete kit. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, thank you. Peace.